Yeah, yeah. You see, nigga IQ, man. You already know. Vintage IQ shit. Um, back, man. We got some more reactions and shit. Um, appreciate everybody, man. Good to see y'all again, man. Thanks for everybody for rocking with me. To tap in with me, comment, you know, hit me on the DM on Instagram or have you contact me or show support. I appreciate you. Um, next on deck, we got this life and sad death of Michelle Thomas. Now, if I'm not mistaken, from looking at her face, I believe she was on, she was opposite of Steve Urkel on Family Matters. He was the little, it was Steve Urkel's girlfriend. I mean, not in real life, but her character was Steve Urkel's girlfriend. Um, very pretty girl. Uh, I think I believe I remember hearing about her dying, but I didn't know if it was fact or fiction. So we're going to see what this is about and, you know, recipes to her and condolences to her people. And, um, yeah, yeah. American actress Michelle Doris Thomas was born in Brookline, Massachusetts on September 23rd, oh, 1960. It's no I'm surprise a too. she would make her mark in the arts. She had the perfect example in both of her parents. Her father, Dennis D.T. Thomas, is a saxophonist for funk band Cool in the Gang, mm. while her mother, Penwa Thomas, is a stage actress and acting coach. Her mother was actually the one who gave Michelle her basic training in acting and continued as her personal coach throughout her career. Michelle entered many competitions and pageants as a child. She would go on to what? win Hal Jackson's Talented Teens International competition in New Jersey. From there, she went on to compete in the international pageant in Jamaica and was crowned International Queen in 1984 at the age of 15. Even though Michelle was born in the greater Boston area, she and her brother grew up in Montclair, New Jersey, where she attended West Essex High School. She also studied dance at the Broadway Dance Center in New York City. Initially noticed for her singing ability, she would instead decide to pursue acting. Her entry into the industry would start slow, with some guest spot roles on a couple of short-lived television shows, such as A Man Called Hawk Never heard of it. and Thea. That, she was on she Thea? also had a small role in the 1989 TV Thea. movie, Dream Date, starring Clifton Davis, Tempest Bledsoe, Kadeem Hardison, Kadeem Hardison and Anne-Marie Johnson. One year after graduation, her acting career would take off, after she won the role of Justine Phillips, oh, the girlfriend of Theo Huxtable, played by Malcolm Jamal Warner on the hugely successful sitcom, The Cosby Show. Police, I have a lot of things inside of me that I wanna to say to you, but I cannot say them in this house. The role would not only put Michelle on the map in Hollywood, but it would make a significant impact on her personal life as well. Initially just friends, Michelle and Malcolm would begin dating and remain in a relationship for six years. What? After her time on The Cosby Show came to an end, she would finally get her first major motion picture role in the coming-of-age comedy drama, Hanging with the Homeboys. Homeboys. By 1993, Michelle would get another chance to have a major role on a hit TV show. In its fourth season, Michelle debuted the role of Myra Monkhouse, Steve, Urkel Steve girlfriend. Urkel's lovesick girlfriend mm. on the show Family Matters. Myra, this is Laura. Hi, nice to meet you. Too. Hello. Hi. And this is your date, Steve Urkel. Hello, Steve. Hello. Also during this time, her talent and beauty helped her land some noticeable roles in music videos, one of which was for the song Never Make a Promise by R&B group Drew Hill. Michelle's role she on Family Matters too. would last five years until the show's end. However, during the ninth and final season, fans would notice her character showing up less frequently. And when she did show up, it was obvious that she was losing a lot of weight and did not look like her usual self. According to Michelle's co-star, Jaleel White, who played Steve Urkel, she had a difficult time finding work again after the end of the show. At one point, she even got a job as a waitress far outside of LA, uh. so she'd reduce the risk of anyone noticing her waiting tables. Over the years, Michelle would maintain great relationships with many of the people she worked with. Even ex-boyfriend Malcolm 
continued to enjoy working with her so much that she was invited to do a guest star role on his own sitcom, Malcolm, Malcolm and Eddie, and Eddie in 1997. That was a dope show, Malcolm. Michelle would eventually show up in the soap opera world portraying Callie Rogers, an aspiring singer on The Young and the Russells. However, in October 1998, just two months after she started working on the show, she would take a medical leave. Michelle lived a very disciplined lifestyle. She didn't smoke or drink alcohol, and she was also a vegan. Nevertheless, she couldn't escape the devastating turn her health would take. Wow. In August 1997, she was diagnosed with a rare form of abdominal cancer called desmoplastic small round cell tumor, That's, or yeah. DSRCT. That's messed up. Yeah. Once she received her diagnosis, Michelle refused chemotherapy because uh. she was afraid that it would interfere with her chances of conceiving children in the future. After two tumor removal surgeries, over the span of about six months, she decided to go back home to New Jersey to be with her family. Sadly, just one month later, on December 23rd, 1998, Michelle passed away. Damn. She was 30 years old. Damn. She was surrounded by her family and friends, including former boyfriend Malcolm Jamal Warner, as she transitioned. She also, unfortunately, died before having the children that she thought she was giving herself the best chance to have by foregoing certain treatments for her condition. Several days later, a Muslim funeral service was held, mm. followed by a burial in Orange, New Jersey. Michelle would win an Image Award from the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People as Outstanding Actress in a Daytime Drama Series for her role on That's The sad as fuck, dude. In September 2017, the cast of Family Matters reunited. Jalil made a point of acknowledging Michelle via a touching Instagram post. No reunion would be complete without me acknowledging our beloved Michelle Thomas. This little ray of sunshine gave me some of the best physical comedy moments I'll ever play on screen. Michelle's smile never failed to brighten your day, and I will forever miss my bubbly Myra Monkhouse. I love you, Michelle. Damn, bro, that's the Instagram sad, page, bro. official Michelle Thomas, consistently posts throwback photos and videos of Michelle, her family, and friends. It also highlights her work and the positive mark she left on the entertainment industry. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time. Yo, that's crazy, yo. Um, damn, yo. I don't even. I'm speechless, bro. The only thing I can say is condolences to her family, and um, I want everybody out there to know this, man. Remember that you have one life to live, yo. I literally just said this in a vlog, or in a, I guess you can call it a vlog. Um, you have one life to live, yo. Like, just, just listen to her story, yo. She was a vegan. She didn't drink. She didn't smoke. Um, strict lifestyle, exercise. You could tell she was a very nice uh, woman. Like, girl, you could just see her soul. Even through the camera. I remember as a kid, seeing her character. She just seemed pure. You know what I'm saying? Um, and for a lot of us, we drink, we smoke, we live on the edge, we do all this crazy stuff that we shouldn't have done and we still here and she only made it to 30. Um, damn. Live y'all life to the fullest, man, because uh, when your day comes, man, it's your day and you just have to, I don't know what to say, man. Just live y'all life to the fullest and just, you know, make sure that you live with not too many regrets. Everybody say they don't have no regrets, but we know that's a lot. We regret some things, but try new things, experience new things, and love people and love yourself and try to leave your footprints in the sand. Because, like I said, you never know when it's your time, man. Damn, rest in peace to Michelle Thomas, man. Beautiful soul, beautiful spirit. Until next time, y'all. Yeah.